This is one of the most disgusting and evil cases I've heard of recently. On the 7th of December 2017, teacher Talma Boyneville was desperately trying to make some extra money. She was doing a cleaning job to earn extra money for her family and the job suited her as her eight-year-old could come along and play while she worked. This was really handy as it meant she didn't have to fork out for childcare. She set out cleaning some holiday homes on the day in question and her daughter waited in the car. The spot was a lovely scenic place called Kelki Beach. However, instead of walking in on a normal holiday rental to clean, she walked into a nightmare. Stephen Brown and his girlfriend, Hayley Dangerand, were in the middle of robbing the place. They were scouring through drawers and wardrobes, hunting for valuables to steal. With Telma walking in, their plan had been foiled they decided they needed to dispose of their only witness. The evil pair tied up the mother whose daughter waited unsuspectingly in the car outside. They used a machete, a knife and a hammer to murder the innocent woman. But the horror was far from over. They exited the holiday home and came across Talma's young daughter waiting in the car. They callously told the young girl, we killed your mum and then bound her up and gagged her. Sickeningly, they then took the eight-year-old into the home where they'd killed her mum and left her there tied up. The two Australian tourists who were renting the holiday home then came back and found the crime scene. The two killers were tracked down hours later in Telma's car, which they'd stolen and driven off in. Hayley was actually wearing her victim's earrings at the time. They actually begged for the officers to just shoot them and end their lives, but they wouldn't get away that easily. Telma's husband, Kevin, wasn't actually allowed to see his wife's body due to the extent of her injuries. The autopsy revealed that she'd fought for her life with many defensive wounds indicating a struggle. Since the murder, Stephen and Haley have both tried to blame each other. Stephen was found guilty of second degree murder and apparently showed no emotion as the verdict was read out. Haley is currently awaiting trial.